fluid restriction for heart failure is it necessary heart failure means that a person's heart is unable to pump blood around their body properly heart failure can reduce liver and kidney function and cause fluid to build up in the organs as a result a person with heart failure may need to limit their fluid intake to reduce strain on the heart and other organs about 6.2 million adults in the united states have heart failure otherwise known as congestive heart failure the national heart lung and blood institute notes that the condition can lead to serious complications including pulmonary hypertension and other heart conditions the reduced blood flow that occurs can also prevent the kidneys from working properly the kidneys help remove excess fluid from the body when the kidneys cannot function correctly fluid retention can get worse this video outlines the reasons for restrict restricting fluid intake and gives practical tips to make this easier it also explores the link between fluid and sodium restriction and explains when to contact a doctor is it necessary fluid restriction can benefit some people with heart failure however not all of these individuals should restrict their fluid intake research from 2016 found that temporary fluid restriction was beneficial for people who had decompensated heart failure decompensated heart failure is a term for when heart failure symptoms become severe and the person requires urgent medical attention the study also showed that people who had heart failure alongside hyponatremia benefited from restricted fluid intake hyponatremia is a medical term for abnormally low blood sodium levels A review from 2015 also reported significant heterogeneity across studies in the outcomes of people with chronic heart failure who either did or did not restrict their fluid intake although they found no overall difference in redemption rate mortality rate and other measures the researchers researchers noted that the study sizes are small and that further research from required a person should talk with a doctor before restricting fluids recommended guidelines for fluid intake the national academies of sciences engineering and medicine recommend that females consume close to 2.7 liters or 91 ounces of fluid per day males should consume about 3.7 liters or 125 ounces for people restricting fluid the standard recommended intake is 1.5 to 2 liters per day the exact amount will depend on how much a person weighs their basal metabolic rate and the severity of their heart failure one 2016 review concluded that restricting fluid intake to 30 ml per kg of body weight per day was reasonable The researchers noted that this amount of fluid intake also had the most minor effect on a person's thirst level. A doctor can advise a person regarding how much fluid they should aim to consume per day. Why is restricting fluids important for some people? A person with heart failure should reduce their fluid intake if a doctor recommends doing so. Not restricting restricting fluid intake may result in a person developing swollen hands, feet, legs, abdomen, and veins in the neck. 
urinating frequently, gaining weight, experiencing shortness of breath. The person may also develop serious complications such as kidney or liver damage due to fluid buildup and reduced blood flow, fluid buildup in or around the lungs. Malnutrition as swelling in the abdomen can make it uncomf uncomfortable to eat. Tips for restricting fluids Restricting fluids can be challenging. Knowing what counts as fluid intake can be helpful. The following foods and drinks contribute to a person's fluid intake. Water, milk or juice, tea and coffee, soup and broth, puddings, yogurts, gelatin-based desserts, ice cubes, frozen desserts such as ice cream, sorbet and popsicles. Some tips for how to restrict fluid intake include using a small glasses such as juice glasses, limiting salt intake, sucking on hard candy, frozen fruit or ice cubes, chewing gum, sipping rather than gulping liquid, spacing out fluid intake, controlling sugar intake, measuring out daily fluid intake in a large bottle making a note of fluid intake throughout the day, using a ref refreshing mouthwash when the mouth feels dry. What is the link between sodium and fluid restriction? According to a 2021 article, fluid restriction can lead to an imbalance in a person's internal water and sodium levels. If a person does not take it, take in enough fluid, the sodium level in the body can become more concentrated. This can lead to increased feelings of thirst and fluid retention. If a person has too much sodium in their blood, their body will try to dilute, dilute it by increasing a person's thirst. The body will also try to hold on to water already inside it, leading to fluid retention. Evidence for Sodium Restriction According to a 2020 review in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences, evidence to support the benefits of sodium restriction for heart failure is unclear. The current scientific evidence suggests that people who are at risk of heart failure or have Asymptomatic heart failure might benefit from restricting sodium. However, a 2016 study suggests that sodium restriction may adversely affect people currently experiencing heart failure symptoms. When to contact a doctor? If a, if, if a person finds it difficult to stick to a restricted fluid intake, they should ask a doctor for advice. A person should also speak with a doctor if they develop any of the following symptoms. Confusion, fainting, lack of urination, rapid heartbeat, rapid breathing, shock. If a person with heart failure experiences the following symptoms, they should receive immediate medical care. Frequent dry, hacking cough, shortness of breath while resting, increased swelling or discomfort in the lower body, sudden weight gain of more than 2 to 3 pounds, new or worsening dizziness, sadness, depression or confusion, loss of appetite, increased trouble sleeping, inability to lie flat.